Hi, Doug here with a weekly Hope 360 moment. And I'm amazed this time of year as we're approaching Christmas of the hundreds, literally, of countries that are celebrating Christ's birth and the millions of people in those countries that are celebrating His birth in over 2,000 different languages. And so this season, we're reminded that there's a thrill of hope and we can address our Heavenly Father in spite of our past. This season, we're also reminded that we all need a Savior and forgiveness and compassion and that Jesus gives us hope, joy, and peace. This season, we're also reminded that things can be good between Him and us. We're also reminded this season that the manger one day became the cross which now represents forgiveness of our sins. We're also reminded this season, season that a weary world rejoices because of His birth. We're reminded that He is Christ our Lord and that we can fall on our knees and worship Him. We're reminded this season that we can celebrate His birth. I want to read you Luke chapter 1, verse 26 through 31. And this is what it says. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored, and the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at her words, at his words rather, and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you shall call him Jesus. Thank you for listening, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. The three.